Is that the box that can be found in Barnes and Nobles? I don't think you can get this in Barnes and Nobles. This is uh, this is through Loot Crate. I'm pretty sure this is exclusively through Loot Crate. All right, so we are going to unbox this now. Uh, unfortunately, as we unbox, we will have a little bit less chat interaction than usual. If you missed me at the beginning of the stream today, I'm going to start posting these on YouTube again like I used to. This is a really big box. What the flip-flop, man? I don't even know how to, like, get comfortable doing this. Okay. I'm gonna go back to posting these as regular highlights and on YouTube for you all. Um, but that means we have alerts and sound effects and things like that turned off. Temporarily, they will be back on for Dead Space. However, for now, we are going to unbox this pretty, wonderful, beautiful crate. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. I probably should have opened it first. It's a really big crate. Like, look at how beefy this thing is, man. Look at how beefy. The, red, the other loot crates are like little skinny mini ones, you know? This is like a big old beefy crate. I don't know how to unbox this properly on stream. You can't even see the whole, all of it. There's the top. Is that a Brotherhood of Steel helmet? It is, yep. It is indeed a Brotherhood of Steel helmet. Okay, let's see what's in this bad boy. I'm gonna knock all the things over on my desk. Yep. Okay, we're gonna have to buy a third desk for this. I already have two desks here. We're gonna have to get a third one. Woo! There's a hoodie in it! Oh, snap! Okay, I'm already sold. This this crate is already worth it. There's a flippity floppin' hoodie in it. Oh my god! Holy crap! Okay, so the front of the hoodie just says 101, but check out the fucking back, yo. Woo! Look at that! Tunnel snakes, rule! Does that say rule the wasteland? What does it say on the bottom there? I can't tell what that says. Tunnel snakes, capital wasteland. Oh my god, that is fucking rad though. Oh, that is super dope. Okay, I'm pretty excited. Already, like, one hoodie in and I'm already excited. This is a really nice hoodie too. It's not those like, kind of like thin, you know, Henley hoodies. All right, what's next here? What's next? We've got this. I'm not, I'm not, it's a Build-A-Figure. Oh, it says Build-A-Figure on it. I need an exacto for, for this thingamajiggy. That's so freaking cool, yeah! Holy cannolis, I really like the hoodie. I really, really like the hoodie. All right, so this is a build, build a, build a something. What did it say, Build-A-Figure? It's a Build-A-Figure. So it's a helmet and a platform. Do you get like the whole thing? Oh, oh, okay. So yeah, so this is the base and the helmet. So this says build a figure and you get the base and the helmet. So what I'm guessing is if you continue, this is all speculation, mind you, but my assumption here is that if you continue your Fallout Crate subscription, that you will eventually get the remaining pieces to build a full figure. So here we have the Brotherhood of Steel power armor helmet. Whoop! Come along now, Logitech. There we go. I've had too much coffee. My hand is rattling. Can you see that my hand is rattling? Either way, that's my hand rattling noise. I hope you like it. This is really cool. So now if we now if we com continue our Fallout Crate subscription. I assume we will get the remaining pieces to build the full power armor set suit, which is that that's pretty awesome too, because if you look at the power armor sets uh, that they have on like Bethesda's website and stuff, uh, they're like hundreds of dollars. So sure, you're probably at some point going to spend that much on all the crates anyway, but at least with the crates, you get a bunch of other freaking rad stuff like hoodies and more stuff. So what else is in here? This is a Fallout coffee mug, according to the box. Let us see. Let us see! Da -da 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 -da. Whoop! I almost dropped it. I thought, I thought the styrofoam was gonna be glued together. I'm really glad I didn't just like try and fling it out. 
That is a freaking awesome coffee mug, man! That is so rad! That is so fucking rad! I really, really like this! Holy crap, I really, really like this! Hot damn! Hot damn! That's cool! That's a really cool mug! It, it helps too that I'm kind of a mug nerd, you know? I buy a lot of mugs. All right, I think there might actually be more to that model in here. So if that's the case, just ignore all of the things that I already said about the model and continuing Loot Crate subscription and all of that because there's another, oh, no, this is something else. Never mind. all of that was totally legitimate. Forget that I told you to forget that I said that. I, I, thought, I thought this was the other half of the model, but this is apparently upside down and a completely different thing. So what is this? The fo oh, it's Fox! Fox comes equipped with his trusty Gatling laser. So this is actually Fox Fox. Why is Fox upside down in the box? A am I upside down or is Fox upside down? Okay, let's open up Fox. I think, I think Fox might be upside down. I think I was technically right side up because Fox was upside down. Bethesda, please! Loot Crate, please, whoever! Somebody get your shit together. Okay, all right, I'm, I already have too many boxes. <laughs> I already have too many boxes. Too many boxes. I'm trying to get this open and he's not opening. Oh, there's tape on it, which explains a lot. And an itchy nose. And a so itchy nose, oh my god. It's a fox in a box! I- Woohoohoo! Let's play with the exacto a little bit more. <laughs> ah, this is so dope! Ah! Hold on, I'm gonna get the stand out so that we can put fox on the stand. Alright, so we got this stand. And then we got fox to put on it, I think. It goes this way. I think. Wow, that is like really hard to get on there. Like really. Ooh. Just wow. Okay, well, you know, we knew Fox was muscular, but man, them thighs are hard to press on. Woo! I am a little disappointed already, though, to be honest with you, because one of my favorite things about Fox was the big old beefy booty, and that is not Fox booty. This is inaccurate as fuck. I would like you all to notice the lack of proper fox booty, okay? Because fox in the video game has a big old booty with a good sway to it, and that is not a big old booty with a good sway. I don't know what that is. How does this go on here? Okay, so we're gonna put that in there. Oh, man. Wow, you need to be like ripped to do this. Okay, well, it's good enough. It's not all the way in, but it's mostly in. Snap! Looks well, pretty badass. I feel like there's some proportion issues. Uh, not sure about the proportions here. A little, 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 little disproportionate, but otherwise, quite impressed, quite impressed. I really, I really like this. This is pretty dope. And when we do eventually get our power armor set complete, then we'll have a power armor set next to it. All right, we still have some more in this crate though. There's, there's actually like, I think two things left maybe in this crate? Let me see. I'm gonna take these boxes. Oh, well this still has stuff in it. All right. Woo! Check it out, yo! I have always wanted to get a Fallout mouse pad and I just never got around to buying one. That is fucking awesome! Holy shit, I'm super excited about a mouse pad! All these years I've thought to myself, how could you be a massive Fallout fan nerd and not have a Fallout mouse pad? But I just never bought one and now I have. This is really awesome. I'm super excited about this. That's fucking dope! And then, of course, of course, of course, as with all loot crates, we have our pin. Da, 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 da. I like that. Kind of, kind of like uh, the, you know, 
wanderer walking away sort of thing. I like that pin. He's a nice pin. He's a very nice pin. All in all, it's a pretty badass loot crate. Uh, many, many of you might have heard me talking about this before that I, I canceled some of my like more generic loot crates. Like my loot gaming crate um, and my regular loot crate because it was a lot of stuff that, you know, was a lot of like Overwatch stuff. I don't play Overwatch, stuff like that, you know. Um, but I really like loot crates, specific loot crates. I get the Harry Potter crate, uh, the Firefly crate, and the Fallout crate. Um, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna prioritize the Fallout and Harry Potter crates because so far I have yet to be disappointed by a Harry Potter crate and this Fallout crate was fucking awesome. Once more, I'm pretty sure that the hoodie is my favorite part, but even though I'm not a massive Tunnel Snakes fan, I just really like this hoodie. It's a nice hoodie. So I'm, I'm really happy with this crate. I'm really fucking happy with this crate. Did I forget anything or are we good? We are good. That's a really fucking badass crate. So GG, props. This was the first Fallout loot crate. Um, it's supposed to be a regular series. I'm trying to remember now if it's every three months, every two months, every month. I can't remember, I'd have to check. Uh, but we'll we will unbox and video each one as they come in It's pretty badass He's pretty badass. I liked it a lot, and I just uh, totally rattled everything around in it. I hope you guys liked it, too